Hey YouTube, Carlos with a K coming your way, this time late on a Sunday. So this is an update video to the build video that I did last week, part two of the build video from last week. This weekend, I took a drive out to Bandera, Texas for an eight stage steel challenge match. Had a fantastic time with a lot of new friends. Now, had a great time testing out the new build. I was able to shoot eight stages without any problems at all, so zero malfunctions all day. The gun functioned flawlessly. Uh, the operator, well, I did pretty good too. I like the sound back, sir. Sorry. I'm getting ready to shoot Smoke and Hope. Just getting started on the stage. <laughs> So I left in some extra video time of me getting ready for a stage. Um, I just thought it showed off the rifle really well and you get to see kind of how I prep when I get in a box to get my mind in the box. Are you ready? Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. <laughs> no. Still. Oh. 12. Finger six. Stand by. Six. Ah. 191. Stand by. I missed that one. I think I did. Stand by. Nice, nice. 154, finish. And let's show clear quick. 90, 90, 97. Okay. <laughs> Close. GM. Nice. This is actually called Mini Roundabout. It's roundabout, but with all eight inch plates. Are you ready? Stand by. So I left all the time this time without cutting out any time even between my strings to see kind of how quickly I get through setting up for the next string and going again. Are you ready? Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. That was a new shooting order that I want to I try out, but on. I'm starting to sneak it in every now and then. Bye. Nice. He's just showing off now. Great. Last, Great. last one. Are you ready? Bye. And that was actually me thinking about shooting that other order <laughs> and just mixing it up in my brain. So this stage is called Accelerator. We just did the Mining the Box episode for Accelerator and so I was pretty confident. But that right plate, that far right plate seemed really wide in the, on this stage and so I really had to slow things down in order to make this stage work. Let's take a look. Are you ready? Stand by.
I really like getting on target and then going down to low ready. I know exactly where I'm gonna pop up usually. Are you ready? Stand by. One extra. I did, I still, I didn't, I didn't hear it because it hit the boat. That's all right. Are you ready? Stand by. There you go. Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. There you go. That one felt nice. Like it's always. Greg always says, you get in the groove and now get out of here. Showdown. So you're going to watch. I take almost. <clears throat> I'm going to take almost the full minute to get ready for showdown. I seem to struggle with shooting fast times on this stage. I'm usually under two seconds, but everyone shoots this stage at uh, a grandmaster level you know at about a 1.7 and i seem to maintain right at about a two second mark on this stage uh to combat that i'm working on changing the shooting order that i shoot this in i'm going to try to shoot the plates directly horizontally across like when sheldon fall back to the sheldon stop says he's he's the president and sole member of the homeowners association board <laughs> okay. I'm, it, it sounds like a dictatorship to me. Are you ready? Stand by. Are you ready? Stand by. There you go. That felt good. Straight across. I'm going to try to do it again. Stand by. Nice. I like it. That's my new way of shooting showdown. Oh, what a move. And then I didn't understand how I was going to shoot this side, so it was kind of a mess. So as you can see, both myself and the rifle performed really well out at the steel range today. Uh, we actually left which was a 73 over eight stages. I'm extremely pleased with, with how I shot with a rifle I was just getting used to. We definitely need to make some modifications to the, trigger, the length of the trigger pull. Didn't work for me, my finger slipped off the trigger twice today. There are some changes that I still wanna make to the rifle, mainly here in this section. I didn't like that I had to really put my head down onto the rifle and uh, in order to get the sight there. I watched a buddy of mine who used a cheek riser and so coming from low ready, I was always having to move and try to place the rifle on my cheek where using a cheek riser and maybe a different adjustment here, he was able to keep the rifle on his cheek and simply bring bring the rifle up, which seemed like a much smoother way to get on target faster. Um, but overall, I had a fantastic day today shooting my new Ruger 1022 build for Steel Challenge. The gun functioned flawlessly, which was the goal for today. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned next time for episode three of the build where we'll talk about the Black Mamba. Coming soon.